Good morning, my name is Teres Unsold and I am the Master Teacher of Tamado Academy and the Spiritual Couple with Fabian Maman, our Master and Guide in Tamado Academy. And I am here today <laughs> to transmit to you another miracle. I'm on a roll. <laughs> it, it, it seems like only yesterday that I that I uh, reported to you my mystery of Golgotha, where I was lying in bed and levitated in the night with my guides and my angels and all beings of light who lifted me up to transmit to me the simple message of the universe to trust, to trust that everything is in divine order. The universe knows exactly what to do and when to do it. And that was big. It's not every day you rise up in the middle of the night in your bed. And so today, I, I am here to humbly report to you that I have, what is it, within a month, received another transmission. I have been witness to another miracle. I saw God. <laughs> what do you do when you see God? It's so big. It's so big that my little body just has trouble to, and that's what I want to tell you, my experience of seeing God. When I wasn't even looking, I wasn't even asking. I was at my computer working away as I am known to do, writing, uh, finishing uh, the French translation for the website of our new book, What Is It to Be a Spiritual Couple? And I'm busy, and it's just at sunset, and I can feel always on my right side where my window is, the pinks and the baby blues, coming, but not yet, of what will be another beautiful sunset. And I'm not really paying attention, except I hear this bird out the window, this beautiful bird song that I have never heard before. And I'm typing away and and telepathically answering the bird, not looking for the bird because I'm busy with my French translation, just cuckoo, hello, hello, beautiful bird. And the bird insists. The bird calls my name. And I stop and I say, who is this beautiful bird? that I have never heard before, who calls my name. And I turn my head and I look out the window and I don't see the bird. I see this enormous rainbow, a rainbow that is 
a triple rainbow or a, or a double rainbow that I see three times. I have to step back. The rainbow was so enormous outside that it covered from my left horizon all the way over to the right horizon, double rainbow, three times. There were six rainbows. It was the most beautiful thing that I have ever seen. And in the middle of this incredible there's not even words. If if you you know of rainbows, a total arc of a rainbow, there is always a different dimension, a portal under the rainbow, inside of the rainbow. And there was God. <laughs> I'm going to cry today telling the story. Yesterday, I was a screaming idiot. I was, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And immediately, I, I have the, the instinct, I got to call somebody. I got I to gotta film it. And I run inside and I get my cell phone and I'm trying to take a picture of it. And of course, it doesn't fit in the screen of the cell phone. And I'm backing up and I'm trying to take a picture of it and it still doesn't. And I'm running around and it's raining. And so I go get my umbrella and I'm trying, trying to take a picture of it. And I can't. And the cell phone dies. And and. Before it dies, I say, oh my God, I got I to gotta call somebody. I got to share this. I, I got to call Pat. And so I'm trying to call and the cell phone dies. I'm not supposed to share this in this moment. It's God. It's God. It's all that you aspire for as a spiritual being, you, you seek God, you strive for, you reach out, you call for God. And when God comes, what do you do? Well, in my little human beingness, I got a little excited because it was so big and immediately I wanted to share. Of course, why not? And when that wasn't possible because there was this presence, Terrace, calm down. <laughs> this is for you and you alone. And I'm, but I can't hold it. It's too big. So I run inside to get one of my cameras. I'm going to take a movie of it. I've got to, I've got to show people this double, triple rainbow with these amazing colors on the side. And in the big middle, it's so enormous. It's such a grand feeling that it's, it's too much. And so I go into action. And of course, my camera has no battery. And I go, OK, OK, this is me. And I grab my Giverny umbrella. And I'm out there. And I'm going, whoa, oh. oh. And I start to be able to receive the enormity of this gift. And I shut my eyes and I levitate. I'm back up like I was in bed, filled with light. And there is the portal of the rainbow. God's presence is all around that, that luminosity, the light, the love. The allness, the wholeness, the totality. My guide, my angels, my God, everybody is there 
in the arms of God. I am in the arms of God and I fall down on my knees and I am crying. I, it is raining and I am thanking and I'm thinking, whoa, I've never done this before because I'm a writer and I'm always observing how I'm behaving so that I can transmit to you. What is it to be in the presence of God? What do we do? How do we behave? Are we capable of receiving such a gift? Or do we get busy? Do we try to share? Do we shove it away? Do we... We're human. We do all of the above. We are taught to look into the face of God is to be no more on physical plane. It is so big and beautiful. And yes, I'm still in it. As I settle in to the amazing truth that this experience is for me, for my soul, to receive the infusion of light. What is God but light? Love, creativity, all hope, all goodness. It was for me to receive, to fill myself up so that later, I can transmit to you. I can transmit to you that it is possible to see God and live to tell the tale. Because I haven't finished the story, God is everywhere. God is all around. I fell down on my knees and I shut my eyes because the, the, the opening in the sky, the empirical reality of the light that I had seen in the night in my bed when I levitated, it was the same white light opening which is the portal to heaven, the portal to the God that is up there to activate the God that is within me. And so I shut my eyes because the, the reality of the physicality of this rainbow and feeling this presence was pretty overwhelming for my teeny tiny little human body. And as I shut my eyes, I am aware that those of you that know me, I sometimes have a problem with the, the, the meditation practices where we block out the five senses. <laughs> because I love the five senses. I love the nature. I teach shamanism of the light in the heart of nature. So my way of teaching is to ground us in the daily life through the nature. And so the idea of the Hindu practice, the, the eightfold practice of the yogas where we are blocking out the, the physicality of Mother Earth in order to contact God, 
I've always had a little problem with that. And so I am aware of the hilarity of the universe. There I am blocking out the bigness of the reality because it's too much for me. And when I've blocked out the senses, there she is. God is still present. The portal is still present. I see the light even as my eyes are shut. I look around and everywhere there is the space, the shape. It's like a shape of an eye. The portal that is the light portal of heaven. I shut my eyes. There it is. I open my eyes. There it is. And I am aware, of course, <laughs> God is everywhere, of course. And yes, we all know this. And yes, I have had godly experiences before. But the amazing quality of having a miracle, of, of having a God experience is that no matter how many times you have had it, it is the first time. It is like making love. It is the first time. Because God is wonder. God is a miracle. God is the miracle that we have a physical body here on Mother Earth who can receive such a miracle and live to tell the tale. See it, hear it, taste it, smell it, feel it. That's what it is to be human. That's what it is to receive such a godly gift that is our life. That is the gift of each and every one of you to have been born on Mother Earth in this time. This time of darkness, this time of chaos in the world. After my illuminated experience yesterday, today it's raining. Today, it's kind of, you know, outside. It's a terrestrial day. It's a terrestrial day full of my life, all the little stuff floating around. I'm human. How do we stay above the raindrops? How do I stay and how do you stay in the luminosity of the gift, the gifts? that have been given to us as a soul. What was your first memory of the light? Do you have one at birth? Do you have one at age seven, age 21, 33, 42, 50? 60, or in your transformation years. My specialty is to teach how to achieve illumination in the daily life. I wrote a book called Shamanism of the Light where I spell out the eight stages of our life where things happen in order to wake us up to the gifts of the things that happen. And when we find the gifts in all our challenge, we open to our soul, we open to the light, and we start to be able to achieve illumination. <clears throat> 
I am going to start posting on this YouTube channel my eight stages of the Noble Hero lectures where you can walk yourself through the eight stages of the life to open to your light, to open to the absolute exquisite joy and wonder and power and nobility of being a human being, a soul inside of a human baby body on your path of illumination. My gift to you is to give you my own teeny tiny little experiences as I work to clean out all the garbage in my life to receive God, to achieve illumination in the daily life so that one day I am all light. Rise yourself up. Always think of the life as below the rain clouds or above. Get yourself up into the light. In Tamado, we do this with sound, with color, with movement, meditation, prayer. <laughs> In God. Open yourself and let her in.